Welcome back to Good Day Columbia. Watch Fox celebrates black history with a look at achievements and accomplishments of African Americans across the Palmetto State and the Midlands. This morning, we introduce you to a man who broke barriers becoming the state's top cop and attorney. Reggie Lloyd has been practicing law for more than 15 years. The Kershaw County native runs his own law firm in Camden. Law and public service is what he lives for, but that wasn't always the case. I actually had much more of an interest in broadcast journalism and sports journalism and originally started out with, with that as a major. After a short time at the University of Miami, Lloyd found himself back in South Carolina. That's when he started thinking about becoming a lawyer. He enrolled at Winthrop University and later received a Jewish doctorate from USC School of Law. Years later, Lloyd became involved in politics. I eventually went to work for the South Carolina Attorney General's office where we were obviously involved in a number of uh, litigation matters on behalf of the state, dealing with everything from video poker to reapportionment redistricting. Lloyd's work eventually grabbed the attention of Democrats and Republicans in Washington. In 2006, he was named the U.S. Attorney for South Carolina, becoming the first African American to hold that office. During my tenure as U.S. Attorney, uh, we had gone through, in the years preceding that, a number of uh, very high profile uh, gang related uh, acts of violence unfortunately and we made uh, combating violent crime a, a very high priority. But that wasn't all. In 2008 former South Carolina Governor Mark Sanford offering Lloyd the position as SLED director. He accepted that post and became the first African American to hold that office. He remembers two cases that stand out. We did a number of uh, wiretap cases, we did a number of cases that targeted uh, those Mexican cartels that were operating and setting up operations in South Carolina. The uh, case that was made against former Sheriff E.J. Melvin, the reason why for me it stands out is because of what we said all along, uh, is that you see the corruption um, that's attached to drug dollars. Lloyd says it wasn't always easy, but he pushed forward. You know, unfortunately, we, we, we sit here uh, today even in 2013 with an African-American president and, you know, a newly appointed African-American as, as U.S. Senator uh, for South Carolina, but those issues still come up and, and they're still being uh, raised by those who uh, both are proud of those accomplishments, but those who are opposed to those types of accomplishments simply because of somebody's race. Lloyd says he hopes his two historic appointments will be an example to all that nothing can hold you back, not even your race. Tune in to watch Fox this Sunday night as we highlight another African-American who's making history across the Midlands. The Black History Spotlight is brought to you by Dilligard Edwards, LLC.